Well, hello and welcome to the very, very long overdue what should be added for City and LEGO Legacy Heroes Unboxed video. I'm kind of working on this for like the past like month plus, I don't know, kind of since whenever I got the, uh, the Q&A back that said like suggest want to make a video on it, or well, I guess that was the q &A. I think it might have been like a DM. I don't know. Uh, whenever I got that, it's kind of been on the background. Lots of stuff going on. Check my latest like update video if you're interested in some of that type of stuff. But uh, yes, it is finally here. Also, I don't think I got the branding for this one right. Uh, I think I'm a little bit past Mars Mission Mission News Network, but sure. I like the, the, the branding of it. We'll just keep it around. It's not very related. Uh, also, for anybody wondering, we'll be listening to the Monopoly 1995 video game soundtrack. I uh, felt enough city related. I don't know. Have some nice jazz stuff. Really enjoyed that game. Always like some Monopoly music. Always nice jazzy time. Uh, but yeah, we're going to get on into this. Uh, this is my video for stuff. I have a suggestion to add. Not exactly all the minifigures specifically I would suggest to add. I mean, there's going to be lots of different things recommended here. Uh, Tiny has mentioned maybe wanting a video of this or having about making a video in regards to it. I don't know if he's gonna watch it or not. Uh, might just be something to make. Uh, but that's something they're trying to find out. What are some good cool city minifigures to possibly add into the game? And I think I rounded up some that worked pretty well, at least for my own taste. Uh, it's gonna be kind of sporadic. Some will be very specific. Some are gonna be less specific and more just kind of generalized. Put in somebody from this theme, or I guess sub theme technically. So there's a lots of cool stuff from over the years for city. Also, this is mostly my biased list. Uh, you might have other ones, but if there's other ones you would like, definitely post that down in the comments section or over onto the suggestions section on the official Discord. To start off, we have Lego Trains. Also, it's been a little bit since I actually made this up. I can remember who all everybody is. I know it's Engineer Max over there on the right. I think the one on the left is Conductor Charlie. There was it's two named characters from the Lego City Trains theme they've had lots over the years. Engineer Max is the more, I guess, cargo related trains. Conductor Charlie's from like the passenger trains. The one in the middle, I'm pretty sure that is new. I don't think that one actually is Charlie. There might be a new version of Charlie. I mean, they do look kind of similar. I guess the special hair though. I'm going to take his beard away. Uh, I think I might be a little bit more of a generic one. I would definitely say add these or maybe somebody from listening to the game trains as a super long running sub theme of City. Lots of cool builds you might could do there for stuff for animations. I don't know, it might be speed related. I know when I go to like a Lego convention, there's like tons of city displays where they have trains motorized going around the tracks the whole time. Uh, like around the city. So I feel like this would honestly fit in pretty well. It's a pretty solid theme. And I don't know, kind of recognizable in my opinion. Maybe throw in a super with a Lego Loco Man. <clears throat> Next up is actually a construction worker. I know Sal is kind of a construction worker. I think like if you look at Lego stuff, he technically is. I mean, he has like the same body and everything, but he's actually from a set with a street sweeper. And in the game, he is called Street Sweeper Sal. He's more kind of sanitation related. And I really like the construction stuff. I would love to see an actual construction minifigure added into the game with some different build stuff. Uh, for this one, I just went with some of the newer stuff. So you wouldn't have somebody that kind of looks like Sal. I mean, I guess they are kind of similar to Sal, but they have a couple different designs here. Uh, you definitely can tell they're newer. He was, I think, 2008 or something. So somebody new. I think these are all this year, the time of recording of these. Uh, also, oddly, lots of 4 plus construction stuff. I mean, I guess you want to make it too complicated. But I think these could work pretty well. I'm sure you can put a lot of interesting abilities into them. I don't know, maybe throw a bunch of build abilities too. I'm sure there's some cool synergies you could put in there. Lots of cool animations, lots of cool vehicles, cool references you could do. And as somebody that likes City, I feel like construction is kind of a classic one that's always coming back. In a couple different forms, like I said you have some different colors there. Personally, the one to me in the middle looks a little bit more like a mechanic, but he's listed, I think he's actually in one of these screenshots for one of these sets. Uh, I think he's actually the one driving the one on the bottom left. Uh, so yeah, I mean, they're all construction people. 
they look different than Sal, so you wouldn't have, like, I think any real confusion about why one's one and the other's the other. And it just adds in something that's kind of missing, because while I really like Sal, he doesn't actually feel my, like, like of construction stuff. Uh, yes, I was a Tonka kid. Next up, I cannot find good pictures of these people by themselves. You have Crook Ice and Crook Cream. Uh, I'm sure we could have a lot of other nice criminals. There's a lots of really nice designs, and I could probably do a whole video of just like ranking some of the different like Lego crooks, especially of the recent years when they've gotten a little bit more detailed than just the old one in like the classic black and white stripes, which I mean would also be kind of cool maybe getting put into the game. Uh, but I was looking at these guys. I think these would be really cool because uh, I mean just just look at them. It's a uh, crook and ice cream suit, so you probably would have wanted. You would also have costume, and also, I guess, chili? Oh, sorry, chill? Because, I mean, hey, the ice cream, I mean, that's pretty kind of chill, right? Uh, lots of interesting cross-team stuff you could do here. I don't know if you want to put anything from this set, but I don't know, another ice cream uh, vehicle having, like, an ultimate with two people with ice cream instead of dumping a giant popsicle on people like Yeti does. Could be kind of cool. I mean, I think these... Of the different possible wanted characters you could add in might be some of the coolest. Not just cause the ice cream, uh, though that does help. I mean, there's lots of cool cross tags you can do here. Though saying that, I mean, I also wouldn't say no to the stump guy that's been the files for a long time. Next up, you have Chase and Kane, or I believe that's his name. Uh, Lego City Undercover. Pretty popular, one of the few like TT or Traveler Tales like Lego original games, so that was pretty cool. And he's actually been in a couple different sets. I believe I saw there was like four different minifigures for him. Uh, I tried to get the one that looked the most like him to me personally. But there's other ones you could choose from. That would be a nice like a newer police minifigure to add into the game. Maybe another Justice character. And he would look different than Primo. I saw lots of people suggest in the Discord like a bunch of different police officers or maybe like a whole like team of police officers. Might be a little bit too much. Now maybe some cross team stuff, like a full justice team with some Imperials, some space police. I would be down with that. But I feel like he's a fairly recognized, not fairly recognizable, a little bit more of an iconic named Lego character. And he's newer. Like, Primo fits the old police role or the old minifigure. Like, he he's fits in the old category. This would fit into the newer category, which I don't want to personally double up too much on some of the different, like, things that are already represented into the game. But having one that's, like, very iconic, very, like, evergreen, like, fire and police... Those are always getting stuff released for them. Having one be old, one be new, that feels kind of fair. That could be a good way to add in some more justice. Another one to add in, uh, that might not be the most city related, although I mean, Kekki never exists in a city set, but he does exist as a figure, is uh, Clutch Powers. Uh, I don't know, I liked that movie when I was younger. I want to go back and watch it at some point. Lots of crazy crossover stuff going on there. I mean, I guess you can give a bunch of cross tags if you want. But he does actually exist as a figure in an Ninjago set. Uh, which could be interesting. Maybe throw him in there as City and Ninjago? Or I mean, I guess you also just add him in another Ninjago anyways. But add in some other stuff too. Maybe like a Ninjago Adventurer or something along those lines. Uh, but I, would, I could see throwing him in here. Like I said, give him City Roll too. I mean, that's maybe a little more of a stretch. But you're talking about like good iconic ish older lego characters he, he's the one that stands out so lego's like i guess the proto lego movie uh it was really cool and i think that would be a cool addition to the game like i said maybe do a little bit more like a design closer over there to the left the actual like movie than the ninjago one is very different also much more older and gruffer and everything but that could be an interesting cross tag city ninjago possibly I feel like if you're going to add him to the game, definitely give him a Jago tag too, because he randomly has it. Uh, and he's spooky army synergy, maybe? I don't know. He falls against Malak or Morax, I think, in that movie. Next up, we have uh, some collectible minifigures. There's lots of collectible minifigures that could really fit well for City. But when I was looking at them, uh, there's lots of good ones that would work for Justice or Wanted. Which I think would be a neat way to maybe expand some of those tags. Uh, though, I mean, I guess an uh, animal catcher might not, but I mean, they're catching skunks. That kind of would be cool. 
Uh, but you have the police officer, which really stands out as a different type of police officer than most LEGO City police ones do themselves. Uh, but I think he has a neat design, kind of like think of I think of a police officer, like a New York City police officer that could work as like a justice fig. Constable would definitely be a different type of like police officer added to the game. Detective, I mean, they kind of investigate stuff. I mean, they give words that could be police, but I don't know, you might put him down there as justice. Judge, it kind of seems like justice related. He could work fairly well. Traffic cop, I would kind of honestly, I really want in the game. I, know, I really like him. Something that stands out very different. Throw in some motorcycles, maybe use his handcuffs, or he catches people who are speeding. Like maybe he steals pep from the enemy team, or whenever they speed up, he speeds up too. Kind of just like slow down the teams that are like always going super fast. Uh, maybe punishes enemy teams that use out of action turns or call assist or whatever maybe he could put it into some of that type of stuff as a traffic cop I don't know that seems kind of interesting there uh, I believe that one's the gangster with his uh, I, I guess the gun was supposed to be kind of in the uh, not the violin guitar case whatever uh, a little bit old school mobster that could be kind of cool for wanted you have the animal catcher there animal control it, not exactly police, but it's what you call for like the stuff to deal with animals more so. And they have a skunk. That would be a really cool one, I think, to add it on. There's some kind of skunk ability. Uh, you have the jewel thief, which I think, I don't know, is kind of interesting. That'd be a cool, like, wanted character there. Maybe some cool stealth stuff going on. And then you have, I believe he's just called Spy. Probably some stealth stuff to wanted and or justice i'm not sure if he's a good spy or a bad spy but I think that could be some interesting stuff and all these i feel like fit in somewhat well with city and for the most part could expand wanted or justice like the, the animal control is a little bit different but it's kind of like a public service type thing there i think all of these could kind of work they're all pretty neat figs in my opinion there's lots of other stuff you add in that's pretty city kind of related from clickable minifigures these are just kind of some of my top personal picks myself uh, next up you have some of the stuff from the various like airport related something things from city you have a couple different pilots mixed in there some like not flight crew but <sighs> the people actually like out there helping the planes kind of land like doing the light stuff and i think the one on the top left is just like a pilot of a helicopter there's always like some airport related stuff releasing every now and then. I think something like that could be kind of cool. Somebody maybe that could use some different airplanes to attack. There's lots of funky like mini builds of uh, like airplane like $10 sets. Maybe throw some of those wacky ones in. They could use some stuff for that. Maybe they do some speed related things. Uh, I think that maybe call flight crew. Down on the bottom could be kind of interesting. They do look a little bit like some of the construction minifigures. But that could be kind of interesting going down there. I don't know if they flick vulnerable to help like you land good hits or something to remove stealth. Uh, but I think the one in the middle top that pilot really kind of speaks to me. I think that would be a really cool one to have in the game. I don't know. I just really like that facial expression and everything. Next up is we have some stuff from the Coast Guard theme. I haven't had one of these recently. They used to appear quite a bit. I would say about like 2010-ish. We had maybe like two or three different like sub themes of them. Uh, I know I got some of the stuff for them in an advent calendar. Uh, but it was kind of an interesting one. You can have them out there. I don't know if the city exactly needs another medic, but some of that can kind of work. I mean, they kind of rescue people. Maybe they'll support Reviver. Not saying City needs another Reviver, but that could work well. You have a captain, a diver, which I would love to have a diver. Some possible future cross tag stuff for some underwater related stuff. Uh, and then just like some more, I guess, like boat crew members. Could be kind of interesting. I mean, I guess if you want to, like, American Coast Guard is a military thing. So I don't know, role model justice. I don't know. I guess depends how you feel about that. Uh, but I don't know, like a boat captain, I think, would also be really cool to just add into the game anyway. So you could add them here from the Coast Guard faction. That could be kind of cool. Next up is you have the Wildlife Rescuers. Uh, it was kind of a recent sub theme. I actually got, I think, one set uh, where it had that little bitty monkey that threw poop at people. A uh, very interesting piece there. But there was people like, kind of like in the savannas of Africa, lions, yeah, lions, uh, elephants, monkeys, stuff like that. I think those were the many things. They might even been a giraffe of one of the sets. Uh, lots of cool stuff you could do bringing different animals there, possibly. 
uh, and just different people exploring like a savannah. Like, hey, it's a little bit of a recent thing. You add that in there. I feel like Adventurer would kind of fit maybe with some of these if you wanted to work towards a team there. Uh, I think one of them, I think the one in the bottom middle is kind of like an animal vet person, a wildlife vet. I mean, I don't, you don't think your local vet can really handle an elephant or stuff like that. Uh, but I mean, something like that might be an interesting one to work in there for some more like medical related stuff. I don't know, maybe a healer. Uh, maybe they bring some more people back. I think all of these, all of these are like some pretty interesting figures. I think all of them could work equally well if they got added into the game. Uh, these people were the, the from the jungle sub theme from I think 2015 ish. We're not getting more of those uh, sets. Really, like they fit in pretty well with the Dino theme that came out just kind of before that. But these people were exploring kind of like the Amazon-ish, almost like Indiana Jones level Amazon. There's like plane crashes. I think once it had a plane crash on top of a temple or next to a temple, some really cool things going on there. Uh, but the top three, all of the more kind of explore adventure people, all of those things would look kind of pretty nice. Give them a giant machete. You think that's a knife? This is a knife. Um, definitely be one of the ability names there. Uh, I think those could work pretty good. I don't know. Maybe you have them remove buffs. I don't know. Like they're trimming the, uh, the foliage or something. Then you have like a scientist guy. Which I mean, hey City could have like some scientists. and some things you could do that. A photographer. I can see a photographer being kind of cool with some of the different abilities. Then you have like more of a mechanic there. Which I feel like we could use a mechanic. And maybe putting a mechanic this way that's like helping to do stuff for like planes or stuff to explore the jungle with that could be a pretty interesting minifigure added in then we have some of the various stuff from the city diving sub things uh, i think this was some of the stuff from the more recent ones because i thought some of these diving suits were just really cool we used a cool way to add in some more crossover stuff with a potential update for some underwater sub things put some of them in well i guess not sub things just things in general aqua zone aqua raiders atlantis give us some underwater stuff uh but you have i guess a little bit more regular divers up top left top right those divers that kind of like the helmet could almost be like an alien or undersea creature head. I, I'm not sure what they're going on. There might be something I'm just not very familiar with. But those look more, I don't know, sci-fi-ish to me. Kind of cool. Uh, the bottom two on the sides, I mean, it's kind of like a reuse of the Atlantis stuff. Almost looks a little bit like astronaut. I mean, they look like some of the astronauts we won't have to see later on. That was from a different, or maybe the same sub thing with divers. There's been a couple of different ones. And I think the one in the middle, I think she was just like a sub-pilot, so she's not in like a diving suit or whatever. That might be a little bit easier to animate. I mean, you don't have the flippers or anything on her. Uh, if that might be a problem to add in, that might be kind of a cool one. Also, I do like her hair and her jumpsuit and everything. I'm sure there's some cool things you could have her do. I mean, maybe she calls it a submarine that falls on top of the anime. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, the diving sub thing I think would be a really cool one to add in, especially if we do add in some of the other underwater related things. Some good possible future cross tagging stuff going on here. If you want to set up a future team, like I'm assuming you're currently doing with the hot tag, how it is kind of in there, but there's not much yet going on. You could almost set this up for like a wet team or something. And I think some of these characters would fit in very well, being pretty wet. Uh, m moving on, we have some of the Lego City Space stuff. There's been a bunch of different minifigures over the years for these. Uh, I mean, it's all kind of a little bit more recent, uh, but there's some really cool looking ones in here, different varieties, different styles of astronauts. Like you see the one top left, kind of that Atlantis style thing. Uh, then you have like the little bit more classic one in the, the middle top, and then kind of that guy without his helmet on. Uh, I think she might not actually been astronaut bottom left but she was i don't know some kind of space related minifig i thought she just kind of looked cool I like to look there uh they're like ground crew down the bottom middle i don't know they kind of said i was kind of i don't know if i would choose them exactly to represent my space stuff maybe if you added in two space characters with that uh then like another one that's just a little bit i don't say more generic but looks a little bit more like some of the construction minifigures and other things uh, I think there's a little bit older though. I think the one in the middle is a little bit newer. And I think kind of like the design a little bit more. It kind of stands out though. I am a, I've always liked that little jacket they had for the construction people. That one in blue there on the other person is pretty nice. 
Now here's even more variety of astronauts. Uh, some of these people were traveling to Mars, put in a Mars sub theme, the Lego City Mars people, Mars mission, life on Mars. Uh, and I think there was also like a Mars related something else in collectible minifigures at one point. Uh, you could make a whole Mars tag, trust me, I've planned it all out, just hit me up, we'll, we'll, we'll make that work. Uh, we have some Mars people up there, uh, the Duke top right, looks almost a little bit more sci-fi, his space suit, a little bit more funky, I, I, I do like the variety of these space suits, and there's lots of different ones you could choose from. Uh, one there, bottom right, is kind of samey. Oh, it's not too samey, but uh, it's a little bit more like some of the other ones with the like reuse of the Atlantis style headgear. Wait, no, never mind. That's, I think that's wrong. It's a little bit different there, that blue. Uh, but it has like the attachments on the back. I think that one looks pretty cool too. Bottom right also looks kind of cool, like a weird color variant of the one top right. I mean, all of these space figures I think would be equally cool if chosen to be put into the game. All have very interesting ones. Honestly, I could make a whole like, little Lego City space team. I mean, give me that over classic space any day. Uh, would love that. And then we're going on to Octon. O Octan. Octon. That's, that's not how you say it. Uh, a classic Lego kind of thing. I think they're honestly moving away from it because gas bad, something like that. I don't know. You know like, is it this is what the plastic that makes up the Lego bricks kind of like made? Um, but anyway, it was Lego's in house like gas station oil company brand. They had a bunch of sets back in the day. You still see some stuff with it every now and then. I think they mostly use it for like racing, and I think they might be doing more green energy stuff nowadays. I don't know. Uh, it doesn't really matter to me. Always like them having Octane gas station. The Octane people on the left are very classic to me, especially that girl there. Uh, and I believe somebody told me that's in like the files somewhere. That was in some like early screenshots back in the day, uh, promotional images. The the original team released of stuff they were working on. So it might already be there. You might can add her in would do stuff probably related to vehicles. The two on the right are both some different like race car minifigures. There's been a bunch of like racing stuff released from City over the years. And that's just some of the stuff on their like jumpsuits that I guess just like they're sponsored by them. Uh, I think all of these could work pretty well. Uh, though I think the two on the left would be a little bit more my, up my alley. Though I wouldn't be against adding one of each because I mean hey the race car minifigures kind of work to I mean like it was always releasing some new like race car stuff all the time and then we're moving over to stunts uh probably probably gonna get their own video at some point just the stuff you could add in uh, and I might be just using my real life collection for that but this is I think the first of two different ones uh these were the ones I could only get like the screenshots of very well uh, with the bikes in them, the, the, the pictures of them solo were kind of a little bit lacking. Because honestly, I think some of these people look better with the helmets off, like a little bit more detail going on there. But you got the cruise, cruising bike, I think up top left, it's one of the new ones. You got, I don't remember the, her name actually, I think it used to be called Scorpion bike, but something else now. Costumed? I mean, even with her helmet off, which is pretty cool on its own, She's like a luchador with that like nice ponytail and some armor. I mean, that's another like cool costume figure to add in. I know have a throw scorpions at people too. Hey, uh, the wheelie bike is left middle. I think she just looks kind of cool. Maybe be like a new tank for City. I know she has some spiky armor, some other stuff. Um, maybe we can give a payback. Uh, I think she just looks nice and colorful. Some interesting design choices going on there with her. Middle right, you have I think the fire bike, which I think she just looks kind of cool, anyways. And you have like a possible hot tag coming up. Uh, you can throw her in there for the hot team. I think she looks pretty cool overall. Uh, I think it's definitely better with the the helmet off. You can see her hair and everything. That's kind of cool. Demolition dudes, bottom left. I don't know, do some blow up stuff. I don't know, even throw him in on a team like Demo Dummy. That could be kind of cool. I think he just overall looks pretty neat though. And I think his alternate face print, like his teeth knocked out, that's kind of interesting. Uh, bottom right is the bathtub bike, rubber ducky bike, I don't know. He just has like a little bit of a speedo on, a giant back tattoo, and a little like life preserver while in a bathtub on top of a motorcycle. 
and just stuff with rubber duckies. I don't know, add him in there, throw in the water too or something if you want to do like a water related tag at some point. Just honestly, all of these are pretty cool minifigures. Some have some better like cross tagging than others, like some hot ones, uh, costumes, different things like that. Uh, but moving on to the next one, here's just some different people on their own. Uh, I don't remember the guy's name on the left, but he just looks cool. A little bit Elvis, old school Daredevil looking. Hey, he just looks like a cool mini figure to add in. Uh, next over, not maybe exactly the most techy looking one. I think there's another one that I forgot to include here that does look a little bit more techy. But I mean, he just looks kind of cool with all of his like stuff going on. A little bit almost like Punisher with the shirt. Some neat stuff there. Next up we have Rocket Racer. He's kind of a little bit of a classic. I mean, he's a callback to some old stuff. So he could be a real cool one to add in. Put him in to represent even some of that old stuff. Doesn't have to be just the new stuff. And then you have like the chicken suit bike dude. Really nice design there. You could add him in, throw him on there with some like chicken suit guy synergies too. You could bring him back even more. He's costumed as well. Throw him on team with chicken suit guy and super wrestler. Have him buff chicken suit guy by another like 20%. Chicken suit guy just like kills everybody now. That could be kind of fun. Might be a little bit overlap with some other stuff. But I think he could be kind of neat. And you can probably add lots of real fun, like, random wacky animations for him. Uh, and then, oh, here's, here's the guy, so, uh, the, the more techy looking person. Uh, but on the left, I think she's like a pop star. I think she's in one of the airplane sets. This is like a different variant of her. I don't know, she just looks kind of cool. You can throw her in here, maybe put it in for some of the other stuff. But I think she just looks kind of cool visually. Next up, that guy, I don't know, he almost looks a little bit like techie-ish related to me with some of his stuff. Like the Jordi of the Forge, like visor thing going on there. Uh, but he just, I don't know, neat, neat colors. I like the armor print, you know, the armor on his shoulders. Have him in there representing like some older school type stuff. I think that could be kind of neat. Uh, I think she's like the snake person. I don't know. Some of these will not have like the new names out fully yet for them. But maybe they're all in costume. I mean, she's kind of dressed up. A little bit like a snake or snake-ish theme just looks honestly pretty cool and then you have that guy uh, he looks like Tom Hardy's Bane from uh, the Dark Knight Rises I'm just the women there because I mean I don't know he just looks cool I might be a little bit biased towards Dark Knight Rises because we really like that movie but yeah throw him in there and that's really it that I had. Uh, I know there's lots of different suggestions there, but I would just probably say pick out the ones that kind of honestly look the coolest. Pick out probably some with some neat cross tags on there. Uh, whichever ones might be like the easiest to animate, because I know not all of those might have like the easiest animations they would need. I mean, some of them might be a little bit more complicated. Like, is it that easy to get one of the Lego like elephant models for like the safari people and have that animated as like an attack or an ultimate like you call it an elephant to trample on people or something or the elephant comes in and like shoots the water out of its trunk at them I don't know but that's just kind of my like overview of some of the stuff I would want honestly if I was going to go back and rank it the stuff I'm kind of most biased towards would be the trains construction, stunts, uh, then I would also probably say the Divers City, sorry, the Divers Space and the Jungle Explorers. I think it's also maybe a little bit Octane as well, because uh, Octane is just kind of a nice classic. We don't have that many just kind of like civilian minifigures, it's like more of somebody in particular that could just be somebody wearing a t-shirt possibly. But yeah, that's, the, that's it for this long overdue uh, what to add for City. I know this is a lots of stuff, so uh, Tiny, if you do watch this, it would like maybe some more stuff narrowed down a little bit more. Uh, I guess just hit me up. I could give you like a much more narrowed down list for stuff I would probably add or narrow it down to what themes and maybe pick out some different minifigures within there that could have some cross tags because some of them might not be my particular favorite version of the characters but if you could add in somebody from there like take you for instance the uh was it the crook ice and the crook cream 
uh, those people, if you could add them in, being city, wanted, chill, and costume, I, th I think having some of those extra tags would really benefit some of these additions because you could put them on some inch more varied teams and try them out with some different stuff. Really like that with the recent edition of Fright Night. I guess you also shows you can have uh, more than six tags. Like people were saying that you could go more than six. He has seven. Uh, and I think that's kind of cool. And I think honestly most of them kind of fit. Chill might be a little bit weird. But I feel like there's enough ice related stuff kind of there to him. I, I could see that. But I really like with him getting added how you had him. If I'm remembering all of his tags correctly, he's collectible, which means he's welcome to collectible team. Because I was looking at that for the upcoming uh, Magisto Master event. Uh, looking at that, like, oh, you could have him, Spooky Girl, and Zombie on a team. Like, you're getting close to being able to make a full, just collectible Spooky team. So that's kind of some neat stuff you could do there. Uh, he's chill, so you could stick him on a chill team. He is Castle, so I mean, generally just use him with Castle anyways. He is Spooky, so just stick him on a Spooky team. And he's also Fright Night, so that gives some interesting synergies for the kind of outdated Basil and Willa combo. So he's like a third wheel to that, which I mean, it's kind of neat. I like that having that get added in opens up a different, a large amount of possibilities for possible team setups there. You could try them out with this, try them out there. Oop, if you have a node that's locked to this, you can bring him now as an option. It's just opening the door to lots of cool new things. And I feel like some of these figures could really do that pretty well. So with that said, this is Victoria Griffey signing off for the Bad Wonderful Day. Bye-bye.